If anyone... <coughs> Makikita sa video ito kung gaano ang hirap na dinanas ng isang 39 years old na babae na si Tara Jane Langston na galing ng London. Kinuhanan ni Langston ang video ito sa pamamagitan ng kanyang cellphone habang siya ay nasa Healing Don Hospital sa West London na nakikiusap sa kanyang mga kaibigan at maraming tao na seryosohin ang COVID-19 dahil ito ay talagang nakakamatay. Kitang kit sa video ang hirap sa paghinga at pag-ubo ng naturang babae. Ayon sa kanya, ilang linggo na siyang hindi maganda ang pakiramdam at na-diagnose siya na meron siyang chest infection at binigyan naman siya ng antibiotics. Ngunit, wala pa rin itong pinagbago. Binigyan siya ng ibuprofen at paracetamol. Binigyan din siya ng amoxicillin pero walang nangyari at isang gabi, ito ay hirap na hirap ng huminga at patuloy ang pag-ubo hanggang siya ay sinugod sa ospital at na-diagnose nga na meron siyang COVID-19. Ayon pa sa kanya, It's like having glass in your lungs. It's hard to explain, but every breath is a battle. If anyone is thinking, taking any chances, just take a look at me. I'm in the intensive care unit. I can't breathe without this. They've had to sew that into my artery. I've got cannula. Another cannula. And a catheter. I'm actually 10 times better right now than what I was before. I don't even know. I've lost count of the days. If anyone still smokes, put the cigarettes down because I'm telling you now, you need your fucking lungs. And please, none of you take any chances. I mean it. Because if it gets really bad, <laughs> then you're going to end up here. Okay? Thank you for all your lovely messages. I really appreciate it. And my body is fighting this. I've not seen Richard. I've not seen the girls since Friday. And I'm just going to fight this. So once again, don't take any chances. Okay, so I went to sleep and woke up and apparently my video had gone viral. That video I sent to my work colleagues to warn them and uh, I had no idea it was going to be uploaded. But anyway, people are obviously in the dark about this and even the doctors here that's the scary thing when you ask them a question their answer is I don't know so I'll say is this cough gonna go and they'll say I don't know am I gonna get better completely I don't know so that's that's what makes it scary. <coughs> <coughs> so, I got ill a week before I came into hospital with flu. And then I had to go to the hospital because I had a stabbing pain in my back. And they told me... I had a respiratory tract, lower respiratory infection. Didn't swab me, 
sent me home with amoxicillin. I called my doctor four days later and I said, I'm not getting any better. And I was told just to keep taking the amoxicillin. Um, so obviously not being swabbed, um, I was around my family. I wasn't really around anyone else because I was so ill. I was just at home trying to recover. And then it hit me Friday night, couldn't breathe, couldn't stop coughing. And I've been on this ever since. Now, I'm 39 and I'm healthy. The only complications I've ever had with my lungs is when I had my daughter two and a half years ago, I had fluid on my lungs, okay? So that could be why my lungs have been more susceptible to this. Nevertheless, <coughs> <coughs> if you have any asthma or anything like that, it will make you more susceptible. And what I mean when I say about the smoking is, if you get ill, you need your lungs to fight it. And you just want to give yourself the best chance, basically. Um, so I've been moved out of ICU and I'm now in a room completely on my own, isolated, obviously, and um, even the nurses who are like amazing or what are running out of protective equipment. So a nurse came in here um, to do my stats, to do my obs, and she was wearing a, a clear plastic bag on her head because she'd run out, they'd run out of like the face mask things. So I question how prepared the UK have been. Obviously, we knew it was coming. So the powers that be, like, why does the hospital not know more? And obviously there is, um, people aren't getting swabbed. I wasn't swabbed. I'd been ill for a whole week before being hospitalized. Anyway, rant over, hopefully, well, I am gonna get better. I've got kids and I wanna get home to them. And I wanna get home to my husband. Thank you for your messages. I'm in the same hospital gown as my previous videos. Um, just to confirm, I do have coronavirus. I'm not a smoker. I used to be years ago, not anymore. And I don't have lung cancer, at least I hope not. <laughs> I'm recovering really well. As you can see, I'm breathing better. I'm not coughing. My body, because I live a healthy, active lifestyle, my body has been strong enough to fight this. Obviously, it's not ideal that I got it so bad in the first place, but the point is my body, my lungs have been strong enough to fight it. That is the point that I'm trying to make. I'm not preaching to anyone. You're all within your rights to do exactly what you want to do. You don't appreciate your breath as until it's taken away. You know, just as something as simple as breathing in air. If you do smoke, it's gonna limit that. It's gonna 
be a hindrance to you. And that was the point that I was trying to make. Anyway, I'm recovering well. I cannot wait to get home to my girls and my husband. And I just want everyone to know that all your messages have been so beautiful. And I, and I appreciate it so much. And just everybody, please take care. And we're all in this together.